Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're asking, should violence ensue? What is the role of the police, and how safe are we, you know, as Lagosians? Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. And our phone lines are also opened up. Please, when you want to call into the show, make sure the, the volume of your television set is way down. Please. Thank you. For cooperating. All right, Uti, you were going to say something before we went on a break. <laughs> so, no, you asked the question about competence. Mm -hmm. And I was just going to say that um, everything is strategy. Whether you agree with the chosen strategy or not, the government is being strategic in their own way. Like I said when I was taking what's in the news, NIN out of the blue, cryptocurrency out of the blue. Mm. You know, all these things, it's strategy. That's how they're choosing to approach it. Mm -hmm. And the government, in one way, is consistent, which is why, for me, I'm sort of, I'm upset that we keep doing the same thing and expecting a different approach. I see. So you've already seen the government's approach to this thing the last time. Now you haven't even gone out, and um, minister is already telling you they are going to quell it whichever way. Anarchy cannot reign. Why in a country where we don't value human life, do you then want to use yourself as target practice? Makes we no have sense. had October, November, December, January, we're now three months plus. Beyond these panels, and beyond a few other small groups that I am personally aware of, all the outcry that happened, I thought by now we would have torn the constitution to shreds. We would have been in court. We would have been fighting. The people that were shouting on social media, we need to do this, we need to do that. All the webinars and things that were happening, all of a sudden, we didn't hear anything else. And this is why the government keeps winning, because mm -hmm. it is easy to distract us. Mm -hmm. Give it time, it all just ebbs away. Mm. Nigerians, we like to survive, we like to enjoy life. We are, we are resolute in the acceptance mm -hmm. of our reality absolutely uti give me a minute let me take a call from kemi i believe from lagos thank you for joining us let's hear what you have to say tommy to am i oh tommy sorry tommy thank you for joining us let's hear what you have to say they would they will rectify that go ahead t-o-m-i yes yes tommy to you am I. yeah evening Thank yeah, you for joining us. I want us. to say well done to you guys. Thank you. You are doing a, a great job there. I want to say this. See, the issue of safety in Nigeria is very we, we all know it. Like um, the lady there said, that we are living in a, in a banana republic, but in the jungle. You know, in a jungle, a lion will attack any animal. And nobody will say, oh, why did you do this? That's what we are saying in Nigeria now. Anything will happen and nothing will happen. Ever since ever I've been killing people, who has been arrested? Tell me. Who? Nobody. But in Lagos, that was, it was not yesterday or day, day, day but yesterday at um, you No, know, some guys were fighting there. Quickly, they made arrest. Now you wonder. Why did I when ever are killing people? No arrest will be made. But in the southwest here, any small thing, they will make arrest. I'm not in, 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 in any way supporting violence. But the truth is, this country, we, we, we are not safe. Our safety is in the hands of God. To be sincere with you. The government, I use one language, they don't see anybody. They don't see us. We are like ants. True. God is the only one protect and he will continue to preserve us. Thank you, Tommy, now, for your call. Now, on Saturday's issue, yeah. I will advise young guys I and mean, young men to stay in the houses. Because the truth is, this protest will be hijacked. Hmm. That's the truth. It's, I mean, it's written, no, you can see the handwriting on the wall. Absolutely. The protest, in fact, has been hijacked already. Hmm. Thank you, Tommy, for your call. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Uti, so you, you were going to conclude on what you were saying. Um, I mean, before I even conclude, I, I, I agree totally with what Tommy um, just said, that people should stay in their houses. Because like I was saying, the government will do what they have always done. The strategy is how best and how quickly can we quell this? 
You know, it's funny when we talk about all these things around cryptocurrencies and NIN. BVN is supposed to regulate accounts, right? But we still have a high level of fraud. The people who were um, picked up, I think it was in Dubai, for terrorism, mm -hmm. till today in Nigeria, as much as our systems are all linked, the government has not done anything there. Mm -hmm. But in this issue, where you are definitely standing toe to toe with the government, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. They will do the same thing they've always done. Absolutely. So it's a plea, like Tommy has said, please just stay in your houses. For your safety, don't be because practice. we don't want anybody, any more lives to be lost. Let us find, I've always said these things, like definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Mm -hmm. Now, the mm -hmm. truth is, like what you rightly said, Uti, the truth is that the government have been very consistent in how they deal with things like this. They try to do this uh, gorilla, gorilla kind of um, battle where they just do this, do this, clamp this, clamp that. That's their strategy. So we already know the government strategy. Why can't you, as a, you, you say you are a young person, you have a fresh mind, be creative about you know, solutions. Don't fall victims of those kind of things. Because this um, Obalende, Obalende drama that happened today is just showing you what will happen on Saturday. So there is no point for anybody to come out to lose their lives. Lami, you want to come in here? No, it's just a ploy, as you have said. It's just a ploy to heighten tension. It's just a ploy to, to heighten tension and show people what will happen on Saturday. Okay, so let me so take... it's a strategy as well, uh, you have said. Okay. It's a strategy to confuse people and put people at loggerheads. It is only when there's unity of purpose that you can succeed at it. Yeah. Already there are fractions and all that. Of so course. They are going to go, and they are all choosing the same time. Both parties are choosing the same time and the same venue. So how will it not, how will it not turn, turn into a violent situation? It's going to be chaotic, of course. That is a strategy. Let me take Marianne. Marianne, at uh, 1004, the police came for a raid. She says at 1004, the police came for a raid and one of the suspects ran and climbed out but fell. To everyone's surprise, the police kept taking pictures when he was still alive. He later died after two hours. We are losing our humanity daily for life. I mean, that's, I mean, <laughs> that's always, um, that's always the, the story that we hear. Then um, Benson says, sadly, recall the issue with one million boys terrorizing residents slash businesses within the city. Was there any arrest or consequences? The NURTW over the years have always demonstrated violence across the country. Um, has there been any consequences? Then it says very grave is, the, is knowing that these criminals have that, uh, know that nothing will happen to them. Uh, and is it possible that our culture as a nation is now complete absence of justice. So let me come to Uti. Do you want to take your comment? And I want to ask Lami about, you know, the role of justice in all of these things w with violence. Because if I know that I will get arrested and I will be persecuted, I will go to jail. I think it will deter me from doing so many things. If you can hear me. Uti. Yeah, so um, I have two comments. The first one is from um, Ayala from um, Egbedo. He says, I am sad for the country we are in. No quality health care, no quality education, and then no security. And the next one is from Wurla in Leki, and she says, I agree with Uti. Everything is labeled as police brutality. We must start developing rational thoughts on all this. Not everything is police brutality. Not everything is for police to act up. Absolutely. So, Lami, I was asking about justice, right? The absence of justice in all of these things. Do you see that that is why, you know, some of these things are happening and nobody, because they know that there are no consequences, it will continue to escalate. So how do we even try to fight this from an angle of the, I mean, revamping the justice system in Nigeria? You've always said this thing, but we keep on talking. We don't have a choice. <laughs> okay, quickly, I'll, I'll save this. But, but don't forget the, the the judiciary is not the only part of the criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. The first entry to any justice system in Nigeria or any police. country is the police. Unfortunately, the police in Nigeria is not equipped for their role. They have been de de demoralized. They've been weakened by the military and subsequently by the civilian government that's taken over from the military. There's no internal discipline amongst them. There's a lot of nepotism. There's no reward culture. 
they are not trained the recruitment process. So in a situation where there's so much of these problems, structural problems, how do you how do you expect to get to get justice in such a system? The judge is not going to go on the streets getting people. It's the police that are trained for this. Unfortunately, they don't have that so the, 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 the training is deficient. Their recruitment process is highly deficient. Their internal control system is highly deficient. The discipline is highly deficient. The reward system is highly deficient. For gallantry, do they reward them? So you were talking about the police being in one section today when the NURSW were doing, they are having a field play. Mm -hmm. What do you expect them to do? What are the rules of engagement? Are they supposed to launch in and start a shootout? Or are they supposed to wait for them to shoot at them? When they lose their lives, are there any insurance to cover them and their children? Hmm. So these are all the issues. So what do you expect? And this is a place that's been deeply, deeply politicized and corrupt. So how, if, if they arrest people and they get them to the station, and you can go there and negotiate 50,000, 100,000 for people who have not been paid salaries, hmm. what do you think they will negotiate it and put it? So these people are going to go back on the streets and cause more mayhem. And, and look at the issue of the IG. This is a country, a country in 2021, where the president, which is full chest, reappointed a retired IG. Hmm. The man had retired as at the 1st of February, 2021. By the 3rd or 4th of February, we heard that the president had reappointed, extended he stayed by three months, which clearly is illegal and unconstitutional, and nothing has happened. The members of the House of Rep and the Senate have kept quiet. Everybody has kept quiet that nothing happened. And this is the highest law officer in Nigeria. Hmm. Nothing has happened. So what are you telling me as a citizen to feel that there's justice in this country? I will do something and I will get away with it. We are living in a banana republic whether we like it or not. Hmm. And this government, especially the federal government, has really, 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 really impeded the justice system. And nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Look at the Senate. They're all keeping quiet. How can he take, how can he get away with such unconstitutional acts? So how do you not expect the, the police force to be, for their morale, what will happen to their morale? There are a lot of DIGs and AIGs already prepping themselves to take over from the IG. All of a sudden, they can't because it's, uh, a retired IGP has been, his stay has been extended you and know, nothing Lamy, has Nothing is going to What you are even saying, the interesting part, if the police, the um, Inspector General of Police, has shown some level of, oh, he did something revolutionary, I mean, the, under his um, uh, under his leadership, we saw transformation in the police. You know, so this kind of people, I, I, I can't. Do. There, there is no it's show. Not a defense for illegality. What the president has done is unconstitutional and illegal. And guess what? The people that we elected to protect our rights are sitting quiet. Okay, nobody I think is we... raising any dust. Let's take another this. call. <laughs> Femi, I think, I believe, from Lagos. Thank you for joining us. Let's hear what you have to say. Turn down the volume of your TV. Are you there, Femi? Good evening, ladies. Thank you for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Yes, I am here. Please, honestly speaking, I love this deliberation. And the truth of the matter is that, unfortunately, a lot of things are wrong in Nigeria way back even before now and we i found out that the problem we are really facing at this era is that we are we are in the generation of youth who don't even know how to face the reality part of life these elderly men have been riding us have been doing a lot of things you can imagine somebody telling um, speaking on behalf of nigeria and telling the whole nation that nobody died during the last protest even while some people were still burying their children and a man who still tell the country and tell, telling them that nothing is wrong and people kept quiet look at what the other lady was talking about earlier she was talking about an inspector general police who had been retired and he was being replaced and nobody said anything so you can see that a lot of things are wrong and until this generation starts learning to talk and really put things in the right way and the painful thing is that 
even the elders, those so called elders who are sitting in the House of Assembly and all, they know the right thing. They didn't know what to do. But they just decided that those things will not be treated, that things will not just be the way it's supposed to be. I don't know, I don't know what is happening, but I, I know God will help us in this country. But really, a lot of things are wrong. Thank you very much. Thank you, Femi, for your call. Uti, <laughs> do you want to come in here? I think I'm tired, honestly. I'm really um, tired. You just took the words right out of my mouth. I'm weak because, I mean, we always come to this point and we say, what are we going to do? What's the solution? What's the way forward? And, you know, we're sick to death of saying, go and get your PVC. Because if you've been following what's happening in the press recently, the same music, whether it's reggae or rhythm and blues, whatever you want to call it, is being played. The defections are starting. This might go to APC. This person might go to PDP. All in preparation for 2023. Absolutely. So, you know, sometimes I, I just think, and it's like I always say, and I've said it, I believe I've said it on the show, I intend to live a long, full life. But somehow I feel like Nigeria is still going to be like this after, <laughs> after we're gone. Because we are just perpetrating the same cycles. We don't, you don't come overnight to come and come into the leadership of a, of a, of a country, of a monster hmm. like Nigeria. You have to, for all intents and purposes, as they say, carry the bag. Barack Obama didn't drop into politics, you know, the year before he became president. There is a process. And if people like you and I have not started that process today at the local, at the local levels, local government and all of that, where is the hope? Because it is this same NURTW people that you're talking about today. They are the same guys who are in local government. They are the same guys who are running for councillor, who are running for local government chairman, these are the people who are at the grassroots. So when you say, what's the solution? Uti, even with so, the... Uti, can I keep in? Sure. Uti, they are the people choosing our leaders. Because exactly. they're the ones that go out on the streets to vote. Exactly. So when you even say that with the elites, you know, and that's where for me, I was so excited when I said, okay, something at least will come out of this whole NSARS matter. There was a lot of talk about the constitution. We all agree that this constitution does not work for us today. If you're ever going to start from somewhere, let's start from there. Let the so-called elites at least tackle one thing. Because if we can lose someone like um, the governor today, who laid down so much infrastructure that we did nothing with 30 years on, 40, it's not quite 40 years yet, we did nothing with. And we're still today having those same conversations. It's sad because I don't, the future, where are we going? <sighs> we're going to keep going around this same, same circle. Come it's 2023, the NURPW NUR will still campaign. The money will still be shared. The rice will still be shared. We will do it all over again. Mm -hmm. And then the next year we'll continue complaining. Absolutely. So I'm sorry, Nigeria. Uti doesn't have an answer. Uti just I, I, needs hope I'm really because saddened. I'm not leaving this country. Honestly, I'm really saddened because um, the question is, how safe are we should violence ensue? We're not safe. We're um, not. Our, our police uh, officers, are they equipped to handle uh, violent eruption? The answer is no. So what exactly is the role of governance, right? If all these answers are ticking the no boxes, what exactly is the role of governance? So tonight's show is actually just to prepare people's minds and to provoke your thoughts. Because when you say you want to go out to go and uh, protest and all of that, going through that strategy, you're going to play the same ball, I mean, the same um, uh, match again. And it's going to be the end result. It's already, there's already, uh, what's it called? The result of the football match before it will, it will even be played. So let us, um, let us calm down as young people. We want a better Nigeria. That's what all of us are clamoring for. We want a new Nigeria. We want to be able to say, you know what, we're, we're proud of where we're coming from based on all the improvements that we're seeing. But this is not the solution. We've said it time and time again, and we'll still repeat it because Saturday is just about two days away from today. But Uti, you have a final comment from, um, from Ade. Let me take uh, yeah. Lamy's final comment. So, yeah, so this is from Ade, who, I mean, always watches the show and comments. Thank you so much. Says, good evening, ladies. Happy belated birthday to Uti's son. On today's topic, we have a week ahead as president and his cabinet members who refuse to say the truth. Birds of the same feather um, flock together. 
Citizens are, t are tired and frustrated with the government that operates an I don't care administration. administration. So true. <sighs> so, Lami, let me give you the final word. <laughs> You want me to, my final take on the matter? Yeah. We don't have any security architecture in Nigeria and particularly in Lagos at the moment. This planned protest is, plan, is already going to fail. So there's no point. There's already division and the government is not going to sit back and let you embarrass them a second time. There are other ways where you can ventilate your grievances. There's 2023 by going to the ballot or you can appeal the decision of the panel, it is not final. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why we are hitting the street and um, taking laws particularly into our hands by going to, on, into the street. So I would say, please stay at home. It's not going to work. We've done it once. Look at the aftermath. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we should do it a second time. Mm -hmm. More constructive and creative ways to go about it. We need to sit down. But I don't think 2023 is achievable for it's us. It's not our solution. We have like one second yes. left. Uti, quickly. And we're not doing anything. Absolutely. I, th I think Lamy has um, summarized it nicely. Um, to answer the question, we're not safe. It's even those of us, uh, you know, even those that live in so-called gated communities that think they're safe. I mean, everybody felt equally mm. unsafe back in October. Yeah. I remember packing a bag thinking, man, if we have to run, I'm going to put my child on my back. And I'm like, I don't even know where I'm running to. But the reality of it is, you know, we're not safe. Absolutely. The, the best thing we can do for each other is to stay indoors and, and, and really look just for pray creative and ways. for the best. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. We had a fantastic conversation and I hope people are watching and they will take some lessons from it. All right. So ways was birthed from the need to inspire, inform and influence lives towards action. Now, this year, our, our CSR, we're starting our CSR focused on curbing unemployment. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots for our job seekers. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching ways. Follow us on all our social media platforms as this will be an all year round engagement. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. It's still for our government. Violence is the last refuge of the incompetent. It is not me that said it, it is Isaac that said it. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring you another great conversation. Enjoy. <laughs>